from a launch site in Iran's central desert, a successful liftoff for a rocket that Tehran describes as its most powerful yet. State television, which broadcast the launch, reported the Zulyana reached a height of 500 kilometers. It said the three-stage rocket can carry a satellite weighing 220 kilograms or up to 10 smaller ones. Iran often coordinates such tests with national holidays. This month, it'll celebrate the 42nd anniversary of the Islamic Revolution. But the launch may also be a show of strength ahead of potential negotiations on a nuclear deal. I think that could very well be uh, the intended uh, timing for Tehran to show uh, the United States that its, its work continues on, uh, on missiles, just as the nuclear issue uh, continues to be, you know, an increasing crisis. The launch comes less than a year after Tehran put its first military satellite into orbit. That stoked tension with the US, which has warned that Tehran is using its space program as a cover for missile development. Well, good afternoon, everyone. US President Joe Biden wants a return to the 2015 nuclear deal abandoned by Donald Trump which saw Iran restrict its nuclear program in return for sanctions relief. The U.S. Secretary of State is warning they don't have much time for negotiations. It's a problem that could get more acute because if Iran continues to lift some of these restraints imposed by the agreement, that could get down to a matter of weeks. The bottom line is they are getting closer to the point where they would be either a threshold nuclear power um, or uh, actually a nuclear power. Tehran says the Zuliana will carry out scientific research. Its launch is a reminder to the new U.S. administration that despite economic and diplomatic isolation, Iran is one of only a dozen countries in the world with its own rocket technology capable of putting satellites into space. Victoria Gatenby, Al Jazeera.